Welcome back, my dear sweet friends. We are changing up locations today. We have a super fun video. We're going to give you ways that you can save money around the house, little frugal DIYs that will help if you think, oh, I need to go out and buy an item. I'm going to show you how maybe you can use items you already have in the home to create what you actually need, if that makes sense. My name is Emmy. My husband is Paul. This is Dixie Bell. And we are the Channel Frugal Money Saver. We're an early retirement debt and mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York. And basically, we show you how to have a full, abundant life and spend less money. And today's video, I hope, does just that. Did you see the beautiful red sky? I love these sunrises we've been having. I try to run out and photograph them so I can share them with you. But they always preface this. Yep, we have snow again today. <laughs> it's just, I have to keep telling myself, it's winter, it's winter, and spring will be here soon. So it is beautiful to look at. It's just no fun to shovel and to drive. So we're just hunkering down today. This mess behind me, it's not really a mess. It is part of the video that I wanna share with you today. If you are new here, click that subscribe button, come on in. Even if you're not new here and you come back week after week to be with us, help us out by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get to work. The first tip we want to share with you is one that is so practical, yet not everybody thinks of it. There is an item they sell that keeps your high boots straight in the closet. I don't even know how much it is, but you actually insert these plastic inserts. And what it does is it keeps your boots nice and straight so they don't flop over. Anybody who has these high boots knows that's what happens. And then they just look frumpy when you put them on. I've had these boots for a very, very long time. And do you know what I do to keep them up and straight? I keep an old magazine. This magazine is from 2015. Now, some people will tell you to put wrapping paper rolls in a boot or something like that. The problem with that is you'd need about three or four of them. The good thing about the magazine is you only need one because it fans out. And these have been in my boots since 2015, and you can see how great these boots stand up on their own at this point, but I still keep them in. And all I did was take the magazine, put it in a roll, drop it in, and it'll keep your boots up perfectly. No gadgets needed here. So that's tip number one, to keep your high boots perfectly straight. Another issue that can be fixed with a common household item is slipping blouses. This blouse for me, when I go, I'm constantly finding it on the floor. We could go out and buy some fancy padded hangers that will cost a lot of money, or we can use this great frugal hack. Our mailman keeps us well supplied with rubber bands. Every time he delivers the mail, if it's like several items, he will use a rubber band. We have found ways to utilize these rubber bands. This is one of my favorite. Just take the rubber band, just like this, and like this. Keep it flat though, because you don't want any kind of marks on your shirt. And now when I hang my shirt with the rubber band, it doesn't move. No fancy hangers, nothing like that. Super easy and it works great. Just make sure you keep the rubber bands flat because you don't want those little bumps here on the corner of your blouses. Perfect. This is another fun one. This just keeps everything nice and organized. It's your basic garment bag. We don't use our garment bag very often. I have had this forever. And it just kind of sits in the closet probably 
360 days a year, right? So what we use this for, and this is a great tip because it gets clutter out of the way and it's great for organizing our wrapping paper. We are a bit old fashioned. I would much rather wrap my gifts than put them in a gift bag. I think a wrap gift just says, hey, I took the time, I'm thinking of you. It's my own personal thing though. And I love having everything here. I hang it in the closet. When I need it, I take it out. And then I have my bag of bows and my pretty ribbons that I use on my packages that I get for near nothing. And what I do with that is I take that, I put it on the hanger, put the hanger right here, pull it up, put it through the loop, and we hang it just like this. The wrapping paper stays beautifully. When I need something, I just unzip it, see which one I need, zip it up. No fancy wrapping paper containers with lids and ribbon holders. This works fine. And a garment bag, a lot of us have them and never use them. So this is a great tip. And what I do is we hang it in one of our spare bedrooms, not the guest room, but in the other spare bedroom. We use that room for storage and it goes right in there. And it is perfect and handy. This is another great frugal hack. This is a dollar store shoe caddy. Now I cannot imagine putting shoes in here because I think it would rip, but for what we use it for, it is perfect. When we stay in a hotel, even for our little house down south, we need more storage. We hang it behind the bathroom door in a hotel and we put our toiletries in it. Shampoos, makeup, shaving cream, soap. This way, if someone is coming in to clean the counters, in the hotel you're staying at, they're not touching your personal belongings. We just hang it on the back of the bathroom door. It works perfectly. It keeps the bathroom counter clean. You can put so much in this. Just make sure it's out of reach of small children. It is a great tip. For a dollar from the dollar store, it really works. This is what started my whole, hey, what kind of hacks do we use around the house? And this is one I looked up myself because I said to Paul, we need to get a cutting board that stops spinning when we use it. So I went on Google, just put it in, how to stop a cutting board from spinning because I don't want to buy a new cutting board. We have a ton and they're great. Guess what? Thank you, Mr. Postman. Now you just have to be careful you don't cut them while you're cutting whatever you're cutting. Doesn't move. Does not move. And that's exactly what I needed. What we do is when the rubber bands come into the house, if we're going to use it for something like this, we'll wash them. We'll put them in soap and water and wash them just so they're clean. But again, just make sure if you're using it on a cutting board like this, which is awesome, because literally it's not going anywhere, don't cut the rubber bands and get them mixed up with your food. You have to be very cautious with that. But another great tip to keep those cutting boards in place. Here's an easy way to save on packing tape if you're going to be sending somebody something through the mail. This is a prime envelope that's got bubble wrap in it and you know we got this in the mail for something but instead of throwing this out you can repurpose it by sending somebody else something in this and putting a label on it and putting it through the post office but I found out you can use your food saver to seal this package and you don't need to use tape let's take a look how we're going to do that we're going to open this up this strip here is where it seals just going to lay it in there like that. As long as it fits in the machine, you close it and you hit seal. And as soon as that red light goes out, this is sealed. This so the light went out. That meant that it's done sealing. Open it up. Look at this. It's sealed. Perfect. Just like the factory. You don't need tape. Perfect.
you know I am always encouraging you to use your library. I went to my library's home page, which I encourage you to do as well. And as you can see, there is so much that they are offering online now. Hoopla, which is a great movie channel, music, audiobooks, Overdrive, which has ebooks, audiobooks, Canopy, which has first run films on it. There's Help Now, which you can get tutoring from. Then there's a universal class where you can take classes to learn things online. Mango, which helps you learn a language. Creative Bug, which allows you to take art and craft classes. It is just a wealth of information on the home page of your library. Now, I just clicked on the one that said universal, where you could take classes online. And I was like, oh my goodness, there is so much on here. Bread baking, cake decorating, cooking and baking, buying and selling antiques and collectibles. So go to the home page of your library online and see what they are offering for free. Continuing on with some helpful tips and hints to save you money. Another one is check your garbage. Check your garbage before you throw it away. What do I mean? You pull a waffle out of the toaster with a napkin or a paper towel. And I'm talking about a disposable napkin or paper towel. How dirty really is that napkin or paper towel that you just took the waffle off of? Or if you serve yourself a sandwich, you opt to put it on a napkin. Is that paper napkin now have to be thrown away? Or can you use it to wipe up your counter? We don't use paper towels. We do keep napkins in the house for like icky messes, like cleaning chicken and stuff. But overall, we use cloth everything. But if you do use paper, does it have to go into the garbage with one use? Yes, if you wipe up something on the counter and it's yucky, of course, you're going to throw it away. But like I said, you take a waffle out or maybe you eat an apple and you dry the apple with a napkin. Does that have to be thrown away right away or can you reuse it for something? And that same thing goes for plastic containers that are food safe. Are you just tossing them without thinking about it and just filling up the landfills? Or can you use those plastic containers to possibly store food in the refrigerator, in the freezer? We all love our pretty Rubbermaids and I love my lock and locks, but I'll tell you what, in my freezer, as I have shown you, are butter containers, are regatta containers, all different kinds that I keep and I wash and I reuse. Because what happens is if we get into that mentality of using and tossing, that is not frugal and we're not gonna save any money that way. So check your garbage before it goes into the garbage. This is another one that will save you money in the long run. Keep a home file. Do you see this? And it goes in this vanilla envelope. What is in here? Anytime we have work done to the house. Paul, why don't you tell them what is in here? Because this you really take care of. Yeah, that's all the receipts of things that we put into our home, including directions for faucets, sink faucets, roof. We had a roof put on the house. That information is in there. All the bills that we paid uh, for repairs on the house or yeah. anything we put into the house, I put into a file. And as you can see over the years, it gets pretty thick and heavy. And we do that because number one, if you go to sell your home, these are going to be invaluable. People are gonna to wanna to know, did you put a new roof on? Did you put a new boiler in? When did you put your kitchen floor in? These will all help prove that you upgraded your house and also, if it's appliances or things like that, when did you replace them? Are they energy efficient? What can you claim on your taxes? 
when you claim your taxes. These receipts, anytime you have work done on your home, bring a major appliance into the house, anything like that, keep them in one spot in a folder. It will save you in the long run. Now this is a hack I have shown before. It is one of my absolute favorite. I know we have a lot of new viewers and I wanted to share it again. What this is, is a $3 spice rack. It is two little cake pans from the dollar store and a bag of marbles from the dollar store. I have two of these in my cabinet. For $3, it is the best Lazy Susan I have ever seen. Now, I heard a lot of you saying that the Dollar Tree is up to $1.25. I haven't been to a Dollar Tree in several months, but a lot of you are saying it's up to $1.25 now. So this actually would cost you $3.75 now, but I still think it is a great deal. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope at least one of the little tips we gave you could be an aha moment. We're always looking to use up what we have. We're always looking to save money. Now these may not be huge savings, but every little bit adds up. And I think half the fun of the frugal lifestyle is finding ways to reuse what you have to think outside the box and say, wow, I could use this for this. It really does save money, no matter how you look at it. If you're not buying something new and you're repurposing something you have, or maybe spending a minimal amount for something instead of a larger amount, then you've won. You have done exactly what we should be doing. How are your no-spend Januaries? Today's the 21st. We have 10 days left. 10 days, I know. I have to be honest, can I share a secret with you? And I'm keeping it real. I cannot wait to just go into a store and see if there's any Christmas clearance left come February. I'm thinking at that point, it should be somewhere between 75 and 90% off. I'd love like maybe some Christmas cards or something like that, but that's what I am most looking forward to. We haven't spent anything new on food, but I'm sure we will over the weekend, and I will check in with you on Tuesday, let you know what we spent. Continue to give me your wins down below. Keep up the good work. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're doing. Any creative recipes, I love when you all share that with me. I got so many on our last video, people telling me, well, I took this and added it to that, and it came out wonderfully. So please encourage us as we hope we encourage you. We thank you for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Please leave this a big thumbs up. Remember, we love you so much. Stay safe. Stay well, and above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, bye-bye.